I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance and this is our September 2018 update. I can't believe that summer is almost gone. If you uh, happen to get Carcraft magazine or check out the newsstand, latest issue of Carcraft has my 67 Ford on the cover. We've had six magazine covers since the first of the year. I'm extremely grateful for that to happen, but it's extra special when it's your own personal car. Let's see what we got going on this month. We've now got the uh, hubcaps on the Circle Racing OE Series wheels on this Ford F3 pickup. These are 20 inch because the Ford F3 has a gigantic wheel opening and it was essentially like a one ton pickup with really tall tires. So by putting the 20s on here with uh, these uh, more of a sport truck type size tire, uh, Continentals, it fills out the wheel well real nicely and then we've got a factory Ford hubcap on there. So kind of the look we were looking for and although I don't like this destroyer gray color on a new Dodge Challenger it looks awesome on a 50s vehicle. What we've got here is a Monte Carlo first generation 1970 to 72. Uh, these cars were similar to a Chevelle but quite different in the chassis department mainly in the front end and the wheelbase. So we've got this on the jig and we're tooling up a new chassis for it and this will be our 33rd chassis that we will be offering for sale. This 70 Buick Post Coupe is coming along nicely. As you can see, we've got our carbon fiber engine covers on our Schwartz LS7 in there, and we've got the Forge Line wheels uh, mounted up. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We still have a lot of detail work to do, and then interior. 1970 Chevelle convertible here. We're working on putting the trim pieces on, adjusting glass, all the final detail that takes a crazy amount of time to get things adjusted. So in the final stages of the build process and then we've got interior to button up. This 924 Porsche has been giving us some trouble lately. We've been pulling axles apart and I couldn't really understand what was going on and essentially what we've determined is the rear control arm on these first design 924s was made out of very thin approximately eighth inch thick uh, sheet metal and it was flexing with the racing style sway bar we put on there with uh, billet arms and so forth was putting stress on the control arm to the point where it was actually flexing the control arm outward and basically pulling apart the CV joint uh, out, of, out of the axle basically just pulling the outer race off of the inner race so we fabricated new control arms with nearly three-eighths of an inch thick steel and uh, we've modified our sway bar slightly to put less stress on everything so this should be the final fix for this it drives and rides amazing and uh, this last little uh, bump in the road is almost over this 73 Camaro now has the Fessler flush mounted glass front and back and uh, we're just uh, buttoning up a couple little details and then interior work needs to be done. Guess which vehicle is getting these gigantic horns? These things are gonna blow cars off the road in front of them. Do you think it's this one? It would make sense, right? An old pickup truck with these giant horns? No, actually it's going in this car. Pretty cool. This 74 Nova's got the air intake tube fab now and we've got a radiator and dual fans in there and we just need to do the coolant tubes and, and continue fabricating stuff and fitting things here. Uh, next we'll be doing vintage air system in the, up under the dash and putting our bulkhead fitting through the firewall and I see we've already got our coolant overflow on here. We also have to put our heat exchanger and our heat exchanger reservoir. We've also got the headers on here. We had to modify them a little bit to fit the, uh, this particular uh, application. So it's um, going to be a fun car with this LT4 supercharged engine. This is the 67 Barracuda with the Hellcat engine. We fabricated our stainless steel exhaust uh, using MagnaFlow mufflers. And as typical fashion, we try to get our tailpipes kind of flush with the back of the car so you actually don't really see them. In the, that's kind of what we've done here. It's pretty much first perfectly flush with the valance of the quarter panel. So 
uh, nice exhaust system, free flowing mandrel vents, stainless steel, all TIG welded, and uh, it should uh, have a pretty good rumble with that supercharger blowing all the air through that engine. Let's check out the front. As we talked previously, we uh, bulged the hood for supercharger clearance on this 67 Barracuda to clear the blower on that Hellcat motor, but the factory die cast pieces will still fit in here like the uh, like original, so essentially we split it and kind of bulged it, so it's got all the factory lines as far as the creases go and these recesses, but it's just kind of bulged up a little bit for clearance. Underneath, we've uh, fabricated our inner fenders and firewall. We've got some bead roll detail in there. We've got a close-out panel here and then another one here. Uh, this one we just kind of wrapped up today and uh, we still got to do a little bit of finishing work on it. Uh, but uh, coming along nicely. We still have to do a little finish work on the bottom of the hood here as well uh, to tie that into the inner structure to the outer structure of the hood there. But coming along pretty well and this is going to be one heck of a fun ride. This is the chassis for the 67 Mustang Eleanor that we're building and the body is in the, the bodywork area right now and they've completed painting the engine bay. So this is all powder coated and ready to go back onto the body once that uh, complete body is painted. So moving along quite well on this project as well. I love Trans Ams and this 75 has the LT4 with the Whipple charger on it. We uh, just got our Be Cool radiator mounted in here and we've uh, fabricated a, a bracket to retain it into the, into the body. And next up is uh, putting our bulkhead connector in there and the vintage air system. So uh, another fun project, and I can't wait to see this one burning the rubber down the road. We had a great time out in California with the Raybestos truck. We were at Vaca Valley Auto Parts in Fairfield, California for their open house and car show. What a great group of folks up there. And we went to the good guys in Pleasanton, California where we autocrossed this thing. It was an amazing day and an amazing weekend actually. We ended up uh, finishing first in the truck class and many late model vehicles on Sunday were slower than what this truck was. So check out some of the videos online and on our Facebook page um, and our YouTube channel. That's all we have for this month. Be sure to check out our open house on September 29th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. right here at Rail Drive in Woodstock, Illinois. We got a lot of free stuff as well as silent auction items uh, benefiting Turning Point. So a great charitable event. Come on out and check it out.